What's up guys, this is Yodaman509 here, just going to do a quick review on uh, Steel Oceans. It's a pretty good free-to-play game, you can find it on Steam, um, yeah, let's check it out. So, let's go to my starter ship here, usually start with uh, Mine Kaze, they've also got a couple other ships, let's go into their research tab, I'll show ya. Alright, yeah, you got the Mine Kaze for, um, for your Japanese ship. You've got an R class, V170, pretty much a starter ship for each nation. I think China, yeah, China and France, those are paid ships. I mean, there is some paid shit that you can buy in this game. Um, for instance, with the currency that you have to pay for. So, but it's not too bad. It's not unbalanced. It's not a freemium game. Um, you can easily rank up and buy the stuff yourself in game. I mean, as you can see, I've got plenty of ships here. These are some of my higher ranked ships, like the Atlanta, the Congo. And, um, yeah, so I mean, it's going to place me in places where those ships are, you know, within the same ranks as the other players. So let's say I pick a rank 3 ship, I'm mostly going to be playing against rank 3s and below. Might have a couple rank 4s in there, but not too many. So, since I haven't played in a while, let's take out the, um, We'll go with the Congo Proto, one of my favorite ships. So we'll take this out. We'll go to uh, normal mode, start that up. And I'll explain to you a little bit about the gameplay. So, like I said, I mean, it's going to place us with people that are in the same bracket. So it's just showing us, you know, what types of ships are queuing up right now and their ranks. It's been a while since I played, but we'll see, uh, we'll see how long it takes to get a match. Hopefully it's not very long. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty easy to unlock in-game. Once you hit the higher ranks, like rank 3, 4, actually probably about rank 4 is when you're going to start hitting uh, the harder to come by upgrades and stuff. It's going to take a little bit longer for you to unlock the currency, but it's not too bad. Let's get some music going and get ready to kill some stuff. Alright. So it's been forever since I played, but uh, yeah, wish me luck. It's pretty much just going to be a capture the objective game type, or fight to the death. If all the enemy ships on the enemy team are sunk, then you win, and vice versa. If all of our ships are sunk, then they win. Or you can control the objectives, which you can see down there on the bottom right. There's the green circle and the red circle. Once you get into that objective, you can uh, start to claim it and the enemy team has so long to try to take you out and uh, protect their circle. So we're gonna flank over here to the right and uh, hopefully some of these other ships will follow us. Looks like we do have a couple higher rank ships in here. They've got a rank four, two rank fours and we've got one rank four. Um, the different emblems you see on the ships, the little diamonds, triangles, those are just different classes of ships. So, uh, I believe the upside down diamonds are going to give you, um, battleships, and those are cruisers right here, I believe. Actually, I believe those are destroyers. The cruisers are one step above that, and I don't think we have any in this match. Actually, yeah, there's some cruisers. They're the two striped icons. I'll show you when we get up to one. Looks like there's a Bagley coming into view here. Let's try to zero my guns on him. As a battleship, I have pretty long range, so... We'll go ahead and launch our volley, hopefully that hits him. Oh, enemy cruiser. Oh shit. Not good. Run myself right into an island, like a pro. Looks like there's a lot of enemy over on that side, so we're gonna try to avoid the enemy. Should've showed up offline on Steam for this. Oh, I wasn't receiving Steam messages. Yeah, we'll, uh, 
get this going here. Usually each match is about, oh, around 10 to 15 minutes long. Man, that, that audio is loud. I definitely have to turn that down. I can set my speed and my correction using the uh, Q and E buttons. Like right there, I just uh, set my speed with R and set my direction with E. So let's go ahead and adjust these sounds. There we go. All right, this is my first review video, so sorry if the quality isn't up to snuff, but we're gonna try our hardest here. closing in on our rear. We're going to try to get back up here to our friendlies. Now as I'm moving, I'm going to take a, a penalty to how long it's going to take my guns to zero in. You can see the circles. The smaller the circle, the, uh, the more accurate my fire is going to be. But that little cruiser over there, he ain't going to do much to hurt me. So let's go ahead and deploy some smoke. Press F3. Now those are uh, items that I have to purchase with an in-game currency, and I'll have to reload those items each time, so depending on how many I use is how much money I'm going to spend that match. And it really helps when you have scouts doing their job as well. See, we have no scouts on this side of the map, and they're Bagley right there scouting me, so... It's not good for us. We're about to lose just because we're going to lose our objective. There we go. Let's zero in on this guy. See if we can get us a kill. But yeah, I mean, for a free-to-play game, it's it's not bad. The combat's actually pretty balanced. Oh, we missed it. We got a couple hits on him. far off so I've got secondary cannons we're gonna use these to try and take out these smaller ships they're gonna probably try and fire some torpedoes at me I said he's going to try and fall out, fire some torpedoes. We're going to try and outrun him. My ship is not the fastest, but should be able to outrun that sub. And do a little bit of torpedo dodging, dodging in the process. Oh, no. Look out. Torpedo. Torpedo. Look out. Looks like we're taking a couple good hits there. I'm going to have to put my fire out with F1 and do some repairs. Oh yeah, this sub is fucking us up. And there we go. Well, that's the first match. I mean, could have done a whole lot better. But uh, just to give a brief overview of how it goes down. I got left out by myself, which as a uh, as a battleship, you don't want to be out by yourself. Definitely need scouts. As you can see, our Bagley's over here, scouting for our other two battleships. Um, our team's about ready to lose. I can continue and watch the fight, or I can just press exit, and we'll just exit, and I'll show you a little bit more about the menu. So yeah, if I press exit, I'll still get the, uh, the money for that. As you see down here, it shows my ship is in battle. I cannot select that ship again until that battle's over. But it'll give me the currency depending on if we win or not. You know, I'll get a certain amount of money. So, there it goes right there. See, we just lost defeat. And, uh, shows you how much money I just spent doing all that. Which ain't too much. I mean, I've got 128,000 silver, and that probably cost me about 5,000 silver to do that match. Um, actually, I probably made money off of that and not lost any, even though I used up some of my stuff. 
but yeah, we'll go into the research category. Like I said, I've got silver, so we'll go to... We'll just stick with the Congo and see what I can research. I'm pretty sure I fully researched this. Yeah, you can see here I've got check marks. So we'll go to one that I haven't fully researched, and I'll show you what you can do. We'll go back to our fleet. Oh, not fleet, port. There we go. So I think the Kaiser, I haven't fully researched this. We'll go into the research, and you'll see I've got more guns down here I can unlock, which are going to give me uh, more armor, more damage, more penetration, a little bit more range at the cost of rate of degree, which rate of train, rate of degree, which is pretty much the rate that I'm going to be able to zero in my cannons and the precision on those cannons. So a little less precision and everything for a little bit of upgrade. You'll see that it's wanting ship XP for this and silver, 17,000 silver and 640 XP. So here's my ship XP up here. I've only got 2,000 XP. You're going to gain XP for each battle you do with that ship. And you'll also gain global XP for each battle you do, period. So that'll be transferred. You can use that on any ship. So for instance, we'll go to a ship that I use even more often, which is, like I said, the Congo Proto. And uh, yeah, see, I've got 16,000 on there. And then plus the global experience gives me a total XP pool of 19,000. So, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to rank up. Um, and because of the way they have the the matchmaking system, I can't just go ahead and be like, okay, I'm going to spend you know, 20 bucks on this game and go unlock this Katami battleship or this Katami cruiser for 35,000. You know, it's probably going to cost me 20 bucks to buy this ship. Which is a great ship, but um, it will never be fighting against the ship that I was just in. So, it's pretty good set up that way. We'll go ahead and check out the cash shop. Right here. Just to see the prices. So yeah, if I were to buy that ship, it'd be the route right here. $49. Yeah. More than $49. 50 bucks to buy that ship. So, I mean, it's not a pay to win. I mean, sure, they can pay all this money to be a big fancy ship, but there's not very many people in these ships anyways, so your matchmaking form isn't going to be that great. Most people are in the level 4, level 5 range as your top fighters. You know, your top players are in that range. You're not going to have too many ships in, in higher ranges than that. But yeah, that's pretty much my review on the game. It's great. It's fun. I mean, I didn't get much kills there on that first match, but it's a, it's a pretty good game for a free-to-play. I mean, didn't have to spend a dime. I've probably put, like, maybe 60 hours into the game, and uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. So, yeah, go ahead and leave a like, comment in the description if you want to see more of these free-to-play reviews, and uh, don't forget to leave me a sub. Take it easy, guys, and uh, have a good one. Hope to see you around next time.